Hello, everybody. Um, we are the Brain Unity. We met yesterday. We, if you can see, we are developers. Um, Arlene is game developer, and I'm a software engineer. We were four yesterday, but we are survivors now, <laughs> so we are just two. Um, so we developed the the game called Brain Space. So the Brain Space is a eight-channel EEG uh, with the device called G Mobile, uh, with the Intendix Speller from GTEC, and we use Microsoft Visual Studio and Unity. Oh, so this is was the setup today. <laughs> We had a lot of fun. I, I, maybe a lot of you uh, could hear the sound of our our game. <laughs> we put the sound. We, I promise. Uh, so we are doing the calibration at this moment. Uh, we'll show. We we'll do a demonstration yeah. here. Yeah, uh, so from from the Intendix, the software. Oh, yeah, here. There you oh, yeah. Okay, Go thank you. Perfect. All right. Uh, okay. So basically what we have here is the Intendix Speller, and we basically changed it to make icons like you would see in a video game. Um, but what we wanted to do was see if we could just, like, look at uh, the flashing image and have that control the game object in Unity. So we first had to translate the data from Intendix uh, into Visual Studio and then put it into Unity and that took one whole day so our game development side isn't as polished as we possibly would like so we just use kind of 2D sprites, uh, simple animations um, and we have four commands. So we have up, down, uh, you have a shooting command, then you have a play option. So if you crash you're able to replay just by looking at the play signal and I guess I'll do a demonstration. So basically when you see the little satellite uh, move that's just me thinking of the command. So I'm going to do this to work. Okay. You know this song. <laughs> now she's playing. Shooting? Punishing the player too if they weren't concentrating, um, but we didn't get that far yet. But hopefully, yeah, that's okay. I wasn't concentrating there, but there we are. Perfect. And Try to shoot again. Oh, oh, oh no. too late. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. okay, okay. Good. We got it. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So okay. So we were playing the appendix. I guess one of the challenges of this is that we had, every time apparently you recalibrate like uh, the Nintendix keyboard, so to speak, you have to like resend the information because each image is represented by like, I guess like a string or something, a string of numbers. Yeah. And every time we changed it, like we had to recalibrate that information with Visual Studio and Unity. So that also took a long time, but eventually what happened? I don't know where it went. Okay. Uh, our biggest problem was like we we can use Intendix with Visual Studio. We can integrate the library. It was perfect. But the biggest problem was uh, in Unity. We could import the project from Visual Studio to to Unity to develop the game. But there the library was not working. So we do uh, a, a lot of hacks. Uh, so it's a proper hackathon. Uh, so but we could. We could make it work, work. So that was our game. Yes. So the last uh, yeah. thought Change is like, out. yeah. So brain space, it's it's is it just a game? <laughs> so we we had one one insight, big insight. 
which is if you have if you have uh, just four commands, uh, you can control the game. Uh, you, you don't need to move your eyes because if you if you just lo look at the center, you can you can see if it's blinking here or here or here or here or even in the middle. But we have just four commands. So uh, for the future, we can we can develop something a uh, real time text speller with no need to move your eyes. So just with four commands or five, we can create a kind of alphabet, um, a, a code. So we can, we, can, uh, we can spell text, we can type text, just with the, with the EEG device. Uh, no, no, come back. I just want to explain something. For example, if you, if you use a, a basic tool, which means like binary, we need a lot of combinations to, to create an alphabet. But if you have four, co four codes, we can combine and do something much faster. For example, with basic four, it's more computer science. Who is from computer science can understand me much better. Uh, with just four digits, we can create, a, we can have an alphabet of six to four characters, just with three uh, letters, three codes. And if you have a base four, base five, sorry. For example, if if you have a command in the middle, something that we can see blinking in the middle, we can have the base five, which which means we have like five codes. And combining these five codes in three items, we can have 125 characters. So, for example, with just a little bit combination, we can have uh, all alphabet and all digits with with no need to move your eyes, just seeing where it's blinking. All right, and for the game development side, um, we had awesome help from GTEC, and one of their goals in the future is to help integrate uh, the Intendic system into other systems. So we're discussing the possibility of creating a way to run Intendix in Unity itself instead of having two programs side by side. Um, so maybe we'll work on that in our next hackathon. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, GTEC, and thank you for. Everyone.